Hey friends, it's Carrie from Dream Up, and this video is part two of my wolf puppet tutorial. In part one, I showed you how I built the head. If you missed that video, I'll link it down below. In this video, I'm going to show you how I built the body. Let's get started. The body is made from a concrete tube I got from the home improvement store. I used half a tube for each of the puppets. Here, I'm cutting slits around the tube spaced three inches apart. I didn't cut the entire way around the tube, but instead left a five inch space at the top of the tube that will act as the spine of the puppets. At the bottom of the tube, I cut each of the rings in half. I used wood glue and a lot of clamps to glue each of these rings into a different circumference so that the body gradually decreased toward the tail. So you can see at the top here, I only squeezed it together two and a half inches, and then way down here at the bottom where the tail is, I've squeezed the ring together uh, to overlap ten and a half inches. I sized up my reference photo of a wolf, and I used my scaled up version to constantly check the overall size and proportion of the puppet, and to make a pattern for the leg segments. Using contact cement, I attached a length of nylon webbing between the body and the head. And this will determine the length of the neck. After I attached the nylon webbing, I tested the strength of the joint. It was unsatisfactory, and I worried that it would fail after repeated use. You can kind of see my hands take on a defeated but thinking gesture here. I tried two different ideas to resolve the weak joint. My first solution was to punch a few holes through the webbing and the tube and to add a few stitches to make it more secure. I used a wax nylon thread for leather working. I don't think you need this specifically, it was just what I had on hand. My next solution was simpler and, I think, just as effective. I used a zip tie at the edge of the connection to secure the webbing in place. And this worked just fine. I attached a handle to the back of the body using nuts and bolts, and then I draped the faux fur over the top to determine the correct placement. Here I'm pinning the top edge of the fabric to the base of the head to allow adequate length for the movement of the neck. Once the fur is draped how I'd like it, I use a razor blade to cut a slit to accommodate the handle. I'll add some glue around the handle later to keep the fur in place. I used my scaled up drawing to make patterns for the leg segments. I did a smart person thing here and actually created a master pattern with notations for placement and orientation. I used some pattern tape to label the different pieces, and I put a big diagram up on the wall just to help keep all the different parts in order. I used my laser cutter to make the leg segments out of thick chipboard, and I rough cut the segments out of half inch upholstery foam. I used spray adhesive to attach the foam to the chipboard pieces and trimmed each of the foam shapes to fit. Next, I traced and cut out all the fur pieces I would need for all the leg segments. My master patterns and notations really came in handy here. I 
I decided to assemble the leg segments before adding the fur. Each joint uses a screw, two washers, and a lock nut. I added the faux fur next. I don't use hot glue for a lot of my projects, but it was a good option here. My aim was to completely cover all the green upholstery foam while allowing the joints to move freely. I forgot to mention earlier that I had painted the back side of all the leg segments black. After the legs were assembled, I painted the silver hardware black as well. I finished the project off camera unfortunately, but it was really just a couple of easy steps. I attached the legs to the body using more nuts and bolts, and I used my scaled up drawing to determine the best placement. I also added a tail using a small length of plastic tubing wrapped in faux fur. And that is how I made my life-sized wolf puppets. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I have made my leg pattern available as a free download for my website. If you've been inspired to try out a project like this yourself, I would love to see your results. You can tag me on Instagram or send me an email through my website, dreamupart.com. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a magical day!